so in the last episode we have done various things but uh, how do we get the image which is uploaded on this input file and we are working with view so we have to make sure that we will talk about view as well as javascript so let's go to this php storm and firstly i don't need this image dot view so why not delete it okay yeah and now if i go to upload form dot view uh, what we are doing we are selecting a file for this input so let's just give a change event you cannot do v model type things here so i will say v uh, at change whenever there's a change on the input that means a user selected a file then i will say uh, get image okay so this will be my function or a method so get image and then what i'm going to do let's just accept this e that means the event then console dot log e dot target dot let's say e dot target okay so save this and refresh here and because my watcher is running npm watch that's okay and now go to console choose a file uh, anyone and yeah we are getting this one that's okay but uh, what we want we want an image so where's the image so for that e dot target dot files so let's once more go refresh and select once more a file and yes you can see we are having this file so that's good we are getting file but that's again the information about the file not the file exactly okay so one thing what we can do we can create a new file reader that means the javascript file reader so you don't have to worry about any kind of package or i'll rely on any other things so what we have to do we have to save this and i will say this is an image so let image is equal to all these things then i will new up a reader so i will just say let um, reader is equal to new file reader okay so that's great and then what we have to do we have to get first one that means zeroth part because you can see the file list having the first element which is zero that's good so that's why zero and make sure that we have started the reader and now reader dot and then we will say read as data url you can see it's now having here and from where we have to read we have to read from this image that's good so now let's just say reader dot on load and whenever we are loading this then after that we can give an function and let's just use e here with the arrow function and let's say console dot log of e and let's see what the result will be so here refresh choose new file and select it yes we are getting progress event but here uh, yeah you can see we are getting target dot result okay so you can see we can now do one thing and what we can do we can give the source as avatar and now give here a data which will going to return and this will be like avatar and which is um, uh, initially uh, let's say null okay so then when the image loads then we have to make sure we will update this dot avatar is equal to e dot target dot result and let's just see the magic so go here refresh and now select a file let's just select some other file and yes this one and boom you can see we are getting the file here we have not uploaded it if i refresh it it will gone but it's just because of javascript view with 
all these things we have made this progress that whenever we get the file we can show that file in our image and now next task is we have to send this image data to controller so that controller can save it on our server so now let me show you how we can move this image from here to our database so let's just go to php storm once more and here you can see we are uploading this but we are not passing anything so let's just pass image because we are accepting image on our controller so that's why image and this dot avatar okay so you can see we have this avatar when we select an image via the input file then the avatar field will get this target dot result and then when we upload we are going to make this on our server but obviously our server is expecting a simple image it's not expecting our base 64 uh, form of image this is base 64 you can see if i open it new tab you can see it's base 64 so let's just save this exactly this amount of data in our database so if i go to my sql pro you can see our avatar field is worker so why not move and let's just let's just do from here only so i'm going to make it blob type okay so blob that's good so now if i go here let's just comment all these things and then what we are going to do we are going to say request arrow image so let's see what happened when we select an image then the avatar field will get the base 64 form of the image then when we click on this button the upload button then we are going to this upload function which actually posted this uploaded avatar to our endpoint called upload and then on the controller we are getting that and we are making avatar field as the base 64 version so let's just go here refresh this and obviously we will lose our image but choose new file select this one go here and click on upload and yes sure enough you can see it's redirected back to home why because if i go to php storm and you can see we are giving return back so instead of this i will return response and i will say null but 200 okay so this is good so once more refresh so now let's choose new image once again and the same one and then click on this upload and yes upload is good and here we will get 200 okay that's good this means if i go to my sql pro give it a refresh and yes you can see we are getting all these base 64 form of our image but we have to make sure this image will persist here so if i refresh this is not going to show me again so how we can get that so why not accept a prop called props and the prop is user okay so now here we are using this element or the component so here come uh, user which will be like auth user okay so whoever is logged in and the data will go to our component so this means if i now go click refresh let's see is there any error no go to view tab and go to upload form yeah user detail is here and also our avatar so here on the php storm upload form dot view we can say avatar is equal to this dot user dot avatar so initially the avatar is this dot user dot avatar but if i select new that will be overridden so refresh and yeah you can see we are persisting this image here so refresh once more and sure enough we are getting this yeah 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 so now choose file other file 
so i'm going to select once again this one upload this and we are not showing any kind of response or feedback that it's okay but we will show this later so now yes you can see our image is now coming directly from our database uh, yeah you will say yes that's good but it's not a good idea to save this large amount of data on our database so in the next episode we are going to see how we can convert this base 64 image to a real image on our laravel end and this is i think super super cool okay so one thing is left let's just go here and make this input type as accept only image and its type okay so this means if i go refresh and it's taking a long time to refresh okay so let's choose another file and now if i try to accept this you can see i cannot click on this pdf not on this file but image i can select so that's why you can see the other files are already disabled no not going to select that's good so once more it's here so all these things are very cool but in the next episode let's just move and do some housekeeping part that means we are not going to like these lines in a single function and we will obviously respond the user that file is uploaded or not and there are much more things needed to go forward so in the next episode we will do some steps which are essential to move forward and then after that we will start our journey again so if you have any doubt feel free to message me or comment me on facebook twitter and instagram so don't forget to subscribe and good Bye.